Hi, my name is Ned, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Zap with Caspio to send SMS alerts. Caspio already has built-in email notifications that you can enable inside the platform, but if you have a desire of sending a text message as well, then this solution will work perfectly. Let's have a look. I created a very simple submission form in Caspio that allows me to create new projects. Notice that I can assign a project to a specific employee. Each employee has an associated phone number, so when we fill out the form and click Submit, that employee will get an SMS alert to notify them of any information we choose to display in the text message. In order to send a text message when submitting the form, you will need a Caspio account for your database application, a Zapier account so that you can send the information from Caspio to Twilio, and you'll also need a Twilio account, which is a provider that we'll be using to send the text message. To begin, you will need to create a form in Caspio that will have a phone number field. The phone numbers that are entered in this field will need to have a prefix of plus one and then the number. The number cannot contain any dashes or periods. In my example, I am using a cascading dropdown to simply look up a number from a lookup table that's linked to each employee. To create this cascading effect, please see the link in the description of this video. Now let me show you how easy it is to actually send this data from Caspio to Twilio so that we can send that SMS alert. Once you're logged inside your Zapier account, the first thing you'll want to do is click on this button here at the top to make a new Zap. Give your Zap a name. I'm just going to call mine SMS alert. You'll have your own naming convention, of course, but I'm going to call mine this. Next step is to find the app that you want to initiate the trigger. So go ahead and find Caspio and select it. Now the type of trigger that we want to perform here is based on a new record. So when you add a record to your Caspio table, we want to fire that SMS alert. Click on save and continue. Next thing that we'll need to do is connect our Caspio account to Zapier. We need to give Zapier access to Caspio so that we can grab that data and send it to Twilio. So click on this button. Follow the instructions on this screen. What you're going to need to do is grab a subdomain from Caspio and paste it into this field in order to connect to the Caspio account. When done, click on yes and continue. Allow Zapier to access your Caspio account. Once it's connected, click on save and continue again. And from here, what you're going to need to do is select the table from your Caspio account. In other words, where are you adding those new records inside your Caspio account? So we're going to find that table. I actually called the table with a prefix Zapier, so I'm going to scroll down here and find that table of projects. Click on continue again. And let's fetch and continue. So what it's going to try to do now is find those fields from the table and once it's successful, click on continue again. Now we need to perform the action. Once the trigger is completed, what app is actually performing this action? And that app is going to be Twilio. And the type of action that we want to perform is to send an SMS. Save and continue. And just like connecting to a Caspio account, we need to give Zapier access to connect to our Twilio account. So click on connect. And to connect to your Twilio account, you're going to need to add two numbers. The first one is the account SID, and both of these numbers are actually generated once you register for your Twilio account. And there will be a section for an API where you can actually generate these two numbers. Follow the instructions. In order to do that, I'm going to cut and paste both of my numbers. And then we're going to click Yes and Continue. Once connected, save. And now we actually need to configure the Twilio fields in order to send that text message. The from number is actually a required field because when you send a text message, it needs to come from a specific number. Now this can be your personal number if you'd like, or you can have Twilio generate a number for you. And in this case, that's what I did. The to number is also a required field. In other words, to what phone number are you sending this SMS alert? If you recall from our Caspio form, we had a phone number field assigned to each employee. So here we can pull that field from our Caspio table, and inside the body of the message, we can actually list any of the information that we want to display in this text message. You can customize your own message. For example, we can say, 
or you can also insert other CASPIO table fields as parameters. For example, you can add a project title, description, start date, end date, or any other information that you wish to display. When done, click on continue. You're going to see a preview. Now you can do a test to Twilio if you'd like, or you can skip the test. Click on finish. Enable your zap. and then you can go to your dashboard to see the actual zap. Once the zap is enabled, now every time that form is submitted through Caspio, that phone number will be sent to Twilio along with any of the other information in the text message and be sent to the end user to retrieve. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio.